Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over icon theme data. Okay, so while we're still on icons, what we sometimes wanna do is make the icon bigger, smaller, more dark, different color, and stuff like that. So what are we gonna do? Well, like we mentioned before, we can't just add these properties if the properties don't exist, right? We have to have a parent widget that actually has those properties and then it can be inherited down into the child widget. So here it would be from before bottom navigation bar instead of the icon button or the icon it would be icon theme. So the icon button and the icon class or widget would be sub or children to the icon theme. Okay, now where would you put this? Would you put icon theme here before the icon button or afterwards? I don't think it makes a big difference depending on what you want to do. Here I'm just going to put it before the icon button because the icon button is more of a functional type of icon, not an actual visual type, right? So, <clears throat> in other words, it has the on pressed. I think I just want to just reiterate, just to repeat myself, um, it has the on pressed method, whereas the icon does not. That's the one that we actually can see on the screen. So icon theme, what are the properties? Well, there's several different types of properties. There's the color, so you can change the color. So new icon theme. It has new icon theme right here. has two different major properties. It's the data, and then there's the child. So the icon theme data is the widget for the icon. Th the icon theme is the icon theme data. Okay, so we have another widget, a widget for the data, and a widget for the child. Wow, okay, that's a lot of different widgets, but that's the way it is, okay? And it can get very difficult because you have to track these things down. It's both difficult and easy to actually do. So it's easy because you could track one thing, but it's difficult because you have to know every single one that's in there. So icon theme data, what kind of widget is that? Well, it's it's more of a presentation. It's more of a, um, it's, a uh, rendering type or uh, organizational type of widget, not an actual thing that you see on the screen. So icon theme data, the properties of that one would include color. Let me see if this is uh, formatted correctly. Okay, it would be color, colors.blue. We can always change it to something else like red. All right, and the opacity, let's run that. So it's a little bit red right now. Opacity, so how much can you see through it? I think one is when it's solid. Yep. Um, if you go higher than that, this is going to be a double right here. If you go higher than that, that doesn't make a difference. It doesn't. So one, I think, is the maximum. Then it fits less than one, zero point, let's say zero three. It's going to be barely visible. You have to look really hard, but it is barely there. Um, how about nine three? Almost zero point one. So it's a little bit darker and it keeps going from there. So 0 0.2, whoops, 2, so it's a little darker right there. Size, I think size is the same thing. So size is if you put it 2, it's going to be twice as large, but this doesn't actually show it. This doesn't change it. I'm not exactly sure why. Size is a property of icon theme data. I, I think it's just because the bottom navigation bar won't allow for it. So if it was in a different location itself, it might be different. Um, Let's just let's test that theory. Let's just put this in, let's say, body instead. Okay, it's way up there, size four. No, that's not really 44. That's not really doing it, 444. Not really. I'm not sure what where that actually goes. So this is, again, still a work in progress, 0 0.01. Oh, um, I, I don't know exactly know what size, how that affects it. It's not very clear with the documentation. Um, where was that? Uh, icon and icon theme. Right inside of here, uh, icon theme data. So it wasn't exactly clear wh what that is, but we'll play around with it more in the future and we'll figure it out. But for the here and now, it's just this, the idea of the icon theme, the properties and the syntax of the icon theme, and then there's icon theme data from there on, okay? And let's just keep moving on, thanks.